What's up, everyone? It's me, Ivan. And I'm about to talk about e another movie. If you haven't watched my review of The Beast Within, go ahead and watch it, because it's a movie that I think deserves way more praise than it's gotten. But here's the thing. Here's here, this, this is the important thing. Uh, whenever I do reviews, per se, not just here, but also on my anime channel at Weeps and Waifus, I, I try as much as possible to be, you know, to give you guys good reviews in terms of like, oh, well, this one is a 7 out of 10, this is an 8 out of 10, and this is 10 out of 10, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I just couldn't relate to that system, a numeric system to judge movies i think is just kind of detrimental because you limit yourself so whenever i do a review per se i'm just going to tell you how i feel about the movie if i would recommend it or not and and stuff like that but i wouldn't give it a score because i think that is entirely subjective so with that said let's talk about transformers 1 Transformers 1 is the film that whenever I saw <laughs> I saw it announced, I thought it was going to be an absolute shit show. I was not into the designs of the characters. The designs of the characters look very, eh, I don't know. Like like a kids cartoon, you know? And I was like, okay, that's cool. But why is it for me? Like, what? What's? Shut the fuck up. Um, like, what? Why do I need to watch this? This looks like a C, like, like a Disney Plus show, right? And that's that's the thing. Like, I just didn't know if I was going to be the target audience for this thing. But then I heard people talking about it in an incredibly positive way, and I was like, um. Okay, let's check it out. So I went and see it. And let me tell you with the, be the, the most surprise I've ever had. This is an uh, amazing movie. Like, it is really good. I will 100% recommend you watch it. Uh, I don't think the marketing campaign was the best when it comes to this. Uh, for sure, it did hurt it because it portrays it as a very childish movie where it's not. And one of the best things about this movie is that every time you have an intense moment where the characters need to reflect and ponder on something, you actually don't... Um... What the fuck? Okay. Well, whatever. Anyways, so... Whenever the character needs to, like, marinate on a feeling, on an emotion, they do. I remember, and no one will ever take this away from me, when I was, whenever I was watching the um, Stranger, Doctor Strange movie, uh, Marvel, Doctor Strange, there was a scene where the love interest of Doctor Strange broke up with him. And then he has to live, live with that consequence that he lost the love of his life. And he's looking at himself in the mirror and he's crying because it's so damaging for him that everything that he's done up to this point, he, he did it almost kind of wanting to really get the girl back, but he doesn't. So he's looking at himself into the mirror and he's crying. But then the magical cape goes and like cleans his steer and makes it for a joke. And that's the moment I realized that Marvel, if they kept going on that direction, was going to be just doomed in a way. Because they didn't let the characters feel anything and they didn't let the audience feel anything other than just jokes for the sake of jokes. And everyone needs to be happy and enjoying the movie at all times. Well... This clearly has a more childish design inherently, but it's way more mature than most Marvel films that I've seen. I'm not saying that this is a comparable uh, franchise, you know, of Transformers and Marvel, but when it comes to their characters and the way they treat them, I think it is comparable because here we have a kind of like journey 
story of Megatron and his best friend Optimus Prime going and trying to find the truth of like what's actually happening in their world and throughout everything they'll find that not everything is the way it seems now if you've ever seen any movie ever you're probably you can already probably guess what the main villain of the movie is going to be from the get-go that that is like predictable per se it's very predictable actually but the thing is that even though it's predictable that doesn't mean that is bad because the because the presentation is good what you care about is not necessarily about the villain but about the relationship between optimus and megatron which has i i'm not a transformers fan in any way shape or form i watched the Michael Bay movies and that's about it and I used to play with the toys when I was a kid and watch the cartoon but I didn't know that Megatron and Optimus were friends at some point and seeing the chemistry between these two was great and I knew that eventually those two were going to like deviate and become arch enemies and I did not want that to happen. The movie made me care about their friendships and them, themselves in general so much that I just didn't want them to go that route. And eventually you do. And it's in the most organic way possible. You see things from the get-go, how they're established and there's little seats along the way where every change that you see from Optimus and Megatron to become the person that the the robots that we got to meet, you get to see how organic it happens. The story is good and self-contained. Even if they don't make another movie out of this, which I hope they do, this one is a good standalone movie on its own. And that's 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 is that too much to ask nowadays to have a movie that can just be its own thing right so honestly this is a great movie and you should watch it and it's not doing so well at the box office so hopefully the good word will spread and just like we had with elemental that you know everyone started to see that oh you know it's kind of cute you should watch it uh, and eventually turn a little bit of a profit hopefully this thing will will be the same that even though the initial box office return on the first weekend wasn't the thing that they were hoping that the good word will spread and more people will watch it because they absolutely should uh if you are into just overall good movies self-contained where you have two characters organically separate from being bros to being enemies this is the one for you you um The only thing that I didn't really quite like was the voice of Optimus Prime because it's Chris Hemsworth and you can tell that he's trying to do an Optimus Prime uh, impersonation. But towards the end of the movie, it gets way better, like way better. And then I understood why. But yes, you'll like it. I don't care who you are. You're going to like this movie. So go and watch it. That's it.